Glory to God. Thank you so much for joining us in Wednesday evening worship service. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. I miss you so much, church family. Hallelujah. I know that's a no-dust statement. Praise the Lord. Oh, we miss you so, so much. Praise God. It's just so good, hallelujah, to just always be in worship. Amen. And what an honor and, and glory. Amen. That's that word behind me that you see on the screen. Glory it is of Lord Jesus Christ to be blessed with this honor to to just be a mouthpiece and to worship with you, amen. I am so thankful, hallelujah, I am so thankful to our Lord Jesus Christ for all of eternity. Glory to God. Say it with me, we are one body, amen. Say it again, we are one body. We say that unto you, Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Let's pray, Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all of eternity, that Father God, we are one body in you. We are all members of your body, Father God. And we thank you, Father, for your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, as we worship you, as we lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, the only way we know how, according to thy word and what you taught us, and your living word in and through us, Father, we lift you up, Lord Jesus Christ. We lift you up and we bless you. You are worthy to be praised, and you have all the glory, Father. We want none of it. Father, we don't go through any man. We don't trust man. We only trust you, Lord Jesus Christ. We only go through you, Lord Jesus Christ, for we know in every breath, Holy Spirit, that you have sealed us for all of eternity. We thank you, Father God. Father, I thank you right now for this brand new season. I thank you, Father God, that you have rebuked the devourer. I thank you, Father God, that your anointing overflows through your holy church, Father. I thank you so much, Father God, once again, for our elders and our deacons and our congregation. Father, we are all one in you. And I just thank you, Father God, for the order, for you are order. Father God, I thank you for the order that you've placed on Open Arms Community Church so that your anointing overflows, Father. We bless you, Lord Jesus Christ. We bless you. And Father, I ask you that through this worship service that you change me, O oh Lord. Change me. Father, I give you permission. I allow you, Father. Change me. Rebuke my pride. Rebuke anything that does not belong. Father God, rebuke anything that hurts you. Forgive me, Father. I ask you to change me, Father God, and that your Holy Spirit presence flows like never before. I thank you, Father, for your glory, and you demonstrate it all through Lord Jesus Christ. And it's only in your perfect holy name we pray, and all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. Give somebody a high five. Praise God. I give you a high five. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise God. Give yourself a high five if you're by yourself. Maybe you're on break or in the car. We don't know. I don't know where you're at. Amen. Give an angel a high five. Praise God. Oh, I thank God that all his angels are around us. Amen. Do you believe that? In all seriousness, Holy Spirit wants me to ask every one of you right now that you're listening, do you believe that, that there's angels right now in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, angels of God that are fighting for you? Praise God, because I'm going to tell you as a beloved child of God, if you don't want your angels, in Jesus' name, I want to take Whatever I can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need help. Hallelujah. I need help. Many of you are like, oh, no, duh. Thanks for that. I need help. Praise God. Hallelujah. And glory to God, when you ask God for help, when you ask God for wisdom, when you ask God for a fresh anointing, all because of Lord Jesus Christ. Say his name. Lord Jesus Christ. All because of the perfect one. The Father God is saying, what do you need, my child? Anything, anything. Hallelujah. And say it with me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for wisdom. Amen. Wisdom. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Wisdom. Hallelujah. Wisdom in Jesus' name. Amen. So our worship service this evening is titled Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, praise God. We're going to have fun with this one. Hallelujah. Oh, I am so thankful for this. Hallelujah. Every worship service, but guess what? Right now is all we have. Amen. Amen. God's in our tomorrow. Hallelujah. That's why God said, don't worry about tomorrow. I'm already there. Amen. Hallelujah. God's already there in our tomorrow. Praise God. Pushing evil far, far, far away. Amen. His angels, remember, his angels are all around us fighting. Amen. It's spiritual warfare. Praise God. Hallelujah. And all we have is this moment right here to just lift up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To be a blessing unto God. Amen. To allow Holy Spirit to flow. Hallelujah. How do we allow Holy Spirit to flow? Just thank God for Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank God for Lord Jesus Christ. Any kind of judgment that you may have in your mind, 
any kind of criticalness. What I mean about that is that if, if you know yourself that you're so consumed with religion and criticalness and just being so distracted by how somebody looks, being racist, their skin color, come on now. Whatever it is, whatever bigotry, whatever perversion, whatever it is, right now is the time in the name of Lord Jesus Christ to say, I'm done with it. Hallelujah. I'm done with it. Father God, take it from me. Glory to God. And guess what God says? Mine. Now don't look back at this because it's crucified in the perfect one. Hallelujah. And what does God promise through the anointing of Holy Spirit in you and in me? Resurrection power. That's right. Whoa! Hallelujah. Resurrection power, which means you do not have to be any way you was back then. It's dead and gone. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's Holy Spirit power now. Amen. Dead and gone. Yesterday's dead and gone. Right? I could talk about yesterday all I want. I could do it all I want. I could live in the past. But guess what? What does that do right now for the future? Nothing. Nothing. As good as it was, guess what? It just keeps getting gooder and gooder. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Do you receive that? Praise God. Let's just give God praise. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I'm so excited. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Oh, thank you, Father. We rejoice because we're never going to hell. We live for eternity. My goodness. Many of you know, I, 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 I've grown up in California, San Diego. And if you go to DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles, if you go to DMV, just take a vacation day. You're there for at least 12 hours. Seriously. I mean, forget about it. I remember when I first moved out here. Oh, my goodness, it's been a while now. And uh, we went to the DMV in Danville, Kentucky. And I kid you, <laughs> I kid you not, we went in there and out in like 15 minutes. And I looked at Trish, I'm like, what have we been doing all this time? And she just laughed, amen? She just laughed at me. Praise God. But I, I, I'm, I'm brought back to those moments, being in DMV for all those hours, and it felt like eternity. Amen? Are you just like, oh, my goodness. You ever wait so long that you just turn into a, a child? I mean, amen, we are all God's children. You know what I'm talking about. I'm the biggest child. I'm the, oh, my gosh, right? I'm, I'm not mature one bit. I'm just saying... You ever wait like you're waiting? How come it's always like when you're waiting for food? Isn't that funny? Like when you're hungry, it just seems like time just tick, tick, like real slow, right? It's like, oh my goodness, right? But glory to God, we have eternity in heaven. Which means God just wants to plug this in and then we're going to get started in glory. Hallelujah. Say that with me. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. That God says he wants you to reflect right now at this moment. On the greatest day that you've had up to this point in your life. That's how good our Father is, amen. Some of you thought about a loved one that's in heaven right now. And God says, right there, right now, right now. God says this. The Holy Spirit says, as good, as good or as you say that day was. God says, that ain't nothing compared to eternity. And see, and I pray in Jesus' name that we're, we're, we meditate, we rest on this glory. Amen? Because I believe, especially when Holy Spirit speaks this right now at this moment, that we get so caught up in this vapor of a life that we think we know what good or is? When here is the father saying, my beloved child, you have no idea. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. We have no idea. All we know is that our God loves us. That Lord Jesus Christ died for us. Amen. And I'm so blessed, so honored. I'm in fear of God. Only God now. You can ask Pastor John, we're one, we're the same way. Amen. We fear God. And I'm telling you, beloved church family, that when you worship God this way, God, he always reminds us and always tells us through the anointing of Holy Spirit in us that we're eternally his and it just keeps getting gooder and gooder. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Praise God. You received that? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Woo! Hallelujah. Glory. Let's get started. Praise God. We're going to be in Matthew, John, Acts, Timothy, and 1 Corinthians. You could already see how the books are lined up. We're going to be in the gospel. Gospel. Then we're going to see the acts of the disciples. Oh, hallelujah. And the acts of the disciples is really going to take it home. So I thought, but then Holy Spirit said today as I was putting this together, we're going to go into 1 Timothy because 1 Timothy wants to just tie it all together in what we go through in the book of, in the book of Matthew, in the Gospels, Matthew and John, and then in the book of Acts. And I said, okay, Lord, hallelujah. And then God says, but then I don't want to stop there because I want it to conclude with you. Amen. Say with me, that's me. That's me. Amen. We are the new covenant church. We are, hallelujah, the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are Holy Spirit's church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We can only speak, hallelujah, for Open Arms Community Church. Amen. Because this is where Holy Spirit planted us. Amen. And this is where God's presence, Holy Spirit himself, that's where his presence is overflowing through all of our lives. Hallelujah. Through our families. Amen. Even the ones, praise God, that don't come here. Hallelujah. Why? Because we have brothers and sisters. We're all one body. Amen. In Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So that's what God said. I want Matthew, John, Acts, 1 Timothy, and then go into 1 Corinthians in the church of Corinth. I know many of you are like, okay, Brother Joey, come on, let's go. Praise God. Let me finish. <laughs> Amen. In every book that we're going through, we're going to be in this scripture. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's all for your glory, Father. Hallelujah. So let's get right into it. Praise God. Over our baptistry, amen. Over our baptistry, Holy Spirit bless us with this beautiful picture above our baptistry. Why? Because it just shows as far as agape, amen. It shows the, the, the relationship of God the Father, the perfect Son, and the anointing and the blessing of Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You don't believe me? Let's get into the written word, amen. Say with me, God. Hallelujah, God. Who is our God? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, we just covered a message for pastor. Amen. On Sunday, Lord Jesus Christ said, you believe in me. You don't believe only in me. Those of you who believe in me, you believe in all of us. Hallelujah. Who is us? Who is we? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We call my favorite shirt, Agape. Amen. Praise God. Agape. Let's get into this. Hallelujah. Matthew 3.16. Amen. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning on him. Amen? Amen. Isn't it beautiful that not only do we have this, this beloved picture that God blessed us with above our baptistry, but this is a picture of you and of me on that glorious day when we received Jesus Christ as Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. When we received Jesus Christ as Lord, this is exactly what took place. It's not different. Can I get an amen? Not different because God is a God of order. Hallelujah. And when you called out on the name of Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy One, glory to God. Father God says, my beloved child. Amen. Why? Lord Jesus Christ says so. He's the only way now. You called on Lord Jesus Christ, right? Amen. Right now. Hallelujah. Right now. I just boldly have to say millions of souls right now. Millions of souls right now is saying, Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me. I need you, Lord Jesus Christ. God, save me. I receive you. I receive your son. Lord Jesus, forgive me. However, they're praying, right? Right? God has, God has been teaching us this way and Holy Spirit has just been encouraging us. Amen. Right now, there's millions of souls right now calling on the name of Lord Jesus. And Lord Jesus knows every soul. Why? Because it's his body. Amen? It's his body. Amen? And when he says, Father, it's mine. Hallelujah. God breathed his Holy Spirit. Amen? And by the grace of God, we don't breathe like anybody else. Amen? Why? Because we have the blood of God. Amen? The blood of God. Say it with me. Lord Jesus Christ, the blood of God covers me. Hallelujah. Say it with me. The blood of God covers my house in Jesus name 
Amen? Glory to God. And the same thing happens. Holy Spirit, come and praise God. Agape. His light shines through you and me. Amen? John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Amen? Say this with me, love. Hallelujah. This is agape nailed to the cross. Can I get an amen? Agape nailed to the cross. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world that he gave. Right? But yet the way the devil, the religion, the way the devil works is that he wants souls to think that God is judging them, mad at them, condemning them, right? No. Nope. Father God is good and perfect. Right there. You see it on the screen. You see it in your, on your screen right now at home. God loves every soul. And the only way he could show his love, because he was done with talking, right? Is that the word had to manifest. And his name is Lord Jesus Christ. His word had to turn into a human being. His word, hallelujah, the Bible, his word had to become a human being. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And what did we do with Lord Jesus Christ? This is what I did to my Lord and my Savior. This is what I continue to do when I'm disobedient with God, when I hurt God, when I don't listen to the Holy Spirit. I don't know where you're at. I'm just saying this is, what, this is what I continue to do. And by the grace of Holy Spirit, say his name, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit comforts us, amen? Holy Spirit comforts us in those times of repentance, in those times of being consumed with anger or, or, or disappointment or depression, anxiety or sickness, disease. Whatever it is, Holy Spirit comforts us, amen? As a loving father does, he comforts us, he holds us, and he's like, listen, you just you bless God in, in your repentance. I'm here for you. I'm going to bless you, right? And it's in that relationship, right, whether you're on your knees, on your face, Right, whether you're in your vehicle, when you're just crying out to God, help me. And he's just so happy, and he's like, I got you. I got you. Hallelujah. God has us in the palm of his hand. Amen. Do you believe? Amen. Do you believe? Say this with me, overflowing. In Acts. Yeah, you guessed it. We said it. 316. By faith in the name, hallelujah. By faith in the name. Who is the name above every name? Say his name with me. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ is the name above every name. Who is the faith? Amen. Who is the faith? Hallelujah. Many of you just said it. Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, he is the faith, amen? Which means, if the enemy tries to distract me, all I do is, Lord Jesus Christ, I plead your blood. Lord Jesus Christ, I see what's taking place. It's not real. And Father God, you're the only one real to me. You're the only one real to me, Father, because of what you did through the cross, through my perfect Lord Jesus Christ. So, Father, regardless how my emotions may feel right now, no, regardless of how I think I may feel, I don't worship you based on feeling, Lord. I, bl I bless you based on your truth. And the truth is, Father God, is that you're perfect, you are good, and you are worthy to be praised because you bless us with the perfect one, your only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you are the faith. You are the faith, Father. And it's in this perfect faith of yours, Lord Jesus Christ, that you took everything foul to the cross, everything garbage, everything that's not of you, all my sins, past, present, and future, every demon, everything that is nasty, you nailed it to the cross, Father, on your perfect body. And I'm just so thankful. And Holy Spirit, as I bless you, as I lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, I know, Holy Spirit, that you resurrected me in Christ. 
And Holy Spirit, I worship you. I stay focused on you. I'm no longer going to look at the situation, the addiction, the perversion, the distractions, the crunchiness. I'm not going to look at any of that. I just choose to look at you, Lord Jesus Christ. I just choose to worship you, Father. Holy Spirit, bless me right now with your presence overflowing in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Just give God praise. Amen. So by faith, hallelujah, by Lord Jesus Christ, amen, we walk by faith. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. I love that footprints poem. Amen. I can't, I don't memorize it, but I just love that footprints poem because from what I remember about it, you know, it's footprints in the sand, right? And you're walking on the beach and times got hard and you ask God, where were you? And God said, I carried you. That's why you only saw one foot of footprints, right? Forgive me if I just completely butchered that whole poem, but you know what I mean, amen? You see two footprints and you're like, oh, that's cool. We're walking side by side, amen? Well, that's it, by faith. By faith, by faith doesn't mean, remember, by faith doesn't mean, mm, mm. that's what the enemy's hoping for you to do. To get into the Old Covenant, Old Testament, into your own works. Rather than trusting in the perfect one who is the faith. Amen. And by the grace of God, Holy Spirit is teaching us. Amen. And encouraging us. We rest on the perfect faith. Amen. We rest on the faith. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I just love that poem because when times got hard and right, that person, I'm not saying the person that wrote the poem is crunchy. Can I get an amen? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that they wrote it and they said, well, where were you, God? You know, when times got rough, where were you? And I love that where God said, I carried you. That's why you only see my footprints in the sand. I carried you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. By faith in the name of Jesus. Woo. Hallelujah. Say his name. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Guarantee Mufasa moment in heaven. Woo. Do it again. Jesus Christ is Lord. Woo. Hallelujah. Right. Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to God. This man whom you see and know was made strong, it's in Jesus' name, and the faith, say with me, the faith that comes through him. Who's him? Lord Jesus Christ, amen? The faith through him, amen? He is the faith, hallelujah, that has completely healed him as you can all see. Glory to God. And we got to keep in mind, remember, that at this time in Acts 9, I mean, I'm sorry, Acts 3, Acts 9 is what we covered in, in praising agape so that others repent. Hallelujah. In the encounter with, uh, with the Apostle Paul. I'm talking about in Acts 3, we got to remember in the beginning of Acts 3, this, this was Peter and John now. Amen. Peter and John. And they were approached with this, this, this man that... Let's just put it simple, just completely struggling, lame, right? Couldn't walk. And then and this, this soul was asking them for money. And by the grace of God, here, here they are, right, disciples, right, beloved children of God. You're a disciple of Lord Jesus Christ, of Holy Spirit, amen, of agape, amen. That's who you are. That's who I am. Hallelujah. As, as children of God, we are covered by the blood, amen, and Holy Spirit, agape, lives in us. And we are disciples of God, amen. We are his children, servants, amen, that we do whatever Lord Jesus Christ, our master, says to do, amen. Hallelujah. And I just love how, how, how Peter and John, they just demonstrated the anointing of Lord Jesus Christ. They demonstrated it right there at the temple. They demonstrated it. And here all these people are in awe. And this is, what, this is what came out of it, as far as them saying, listen, the very one that you crucified, you let a thief go, a murderer go, and you, and you crucified our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ is glorified. Hallelujah. Say that with me. Jesus Christ is glorified. Hallelujah. Glory. And it's at this moment where they're saying, you're in awe of everything happening here, but Lord Jesus Christ said that this was going to happen. See, where is the authority and the power, the anointing of the Holy Spirit that as a child of God, you can say to whatever thing that does not belong to God Almighty, my Lord Jesus Christ is glorified, amen? And that this thing cannot stay in my house. This thing cannot be around me 
in Jesus' name. Amen? And this is the anointing of God, hallelujah, in his presence through his Holy Spirit that's overflowing. Say that with me. Hallelujah, overflowing. Hallelujah, overflowing. What a great word. Amen? Oh, I love that word that Holy Spirit gave us a long, long time ago. Just be overflowing. Amen? How many of you want to be overflowing with the presence of God? Amen? The presence of Holy Spirit in your life. Hallelujah. That you're always overflowing, that his presence goes before you, and that in that overflow, his presence, it's all Lord Jesus Christ. He has all the glory now. Can you get an amen? We worship and glorify only one man. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. And as you lift up his holy name and you bless his holy name, and the way you bless his holy name is that you're giving thanksgiving unto Lord Jesus Christ only. He's the only way, the truth, and the life. Amen. And as you're lifting up his name, Holy Spirit in you says, my presence goes before you. Amen. My pre Let me ask you something. How many of you want God's presence to go before you when you go to the store? See, some of you said, I want his presence everywhere in my life. Getting up off this couch, going to the bathroom, right? Er Amen. See, that's it. Amen. We want God's presence to be overflowing in our life. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Say it with me. Holy Spirit, overflow. Amen. Holy Spirit, overflow. Hallelujah. I love this picture because on that third day, hallelujah, what happened? God's presence overflowed. Amen. Hallelujah. Resurrection power in Jesus' name. Amen. So here you saw Matthew, John, and Acts, verses 3.16. You saw, you saw God's love overflowing in, in, in every verse. God's love overflowing in every verse. Right? You saw it in Matthew 3.16 when Lord Jesus Christ was baptized. Amen? Physically baptized, submerged in the water, but you also saw as far as the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen? That is our baptism that we share. Amen? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen? You saw God's love overflowing as far as in the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? The love of the Father that He would allow. Amen? He would allow everything to take place to His perfect Son. The love of Lord Jesus Christ to allow every bit of flesh torn off his body. Every hair pulled from his face, from his head. The thorns that was driven into his skull. The love of Holy Spirit to just completely allow the Holy One to yield him up. And you feel the power, hallelujah, you feel the power of what took place when the Lord Jesus Christ yielded up his spirit. That veil, hallelujah, that veil that was torn from top to bottom, right? The earthquake that was felt all throughout the world, not just an earthquake right there, all throughout the world, amen? Dead, rising. Come on now, family. You see the overflow in that, don't you? And then you see God's love overflowing. We just, we just discussed this on that glorious third day. You see God's love overflowing and how his beloved disciples demonstrated his power in that story in Acts 3. Amen. And I encourage you, glory to God, I encourage you that you know, whether it's right now and you pause it. <laughs> I just love doing goofy stuff. You pause the video and you can read through it. Or maybe later, Holy Spirit will, you know, guide you. And I'll tell you right now, Holy Spirit, he's our only teacher. And not only will the word not only come alive, but at the same time, above all, the glory. Say with me, glory. The glory of God will overflow within. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So now we're in Timothy 3.16. Amen. In Timothy 3.16 says, Beyond all question, the mystery from which true godliness springs is great. Oh, and I love how this all ties in together. Amen. He appeared in the flesh, was vindicated by the Spirit. So notice right now in 1 Timothy 3.16, amen, right here, right away, it just talks about the mystery of God 
hallelujah, and how true godliness is great, right? And it just right there, it's just talking about, of course, as you know, the Holy One, Lord Jesus Christ. He appeared in the flesh, and praise God, it, it just overlaps, because remember, God is one, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen? And it just overlaps. The Word confirms the Word, amen? I know many of you heard that, and we're just seeing it along with the illustrations, amen? He appeared in the flesh, and this is what we did to the body of God, right? We just covered that not too long ago, right? We denied God's character. We denied His presence. We denied God as a Father. We denied Him. And God says, I'm not going to stop, right? And Lord Jesus Christ, you could just see, right? Praise God. You could just see Lord Jesus Christ going, is it time? Just tell me. Father, just tell me, and I'll go save him. I pray that that plant seeds right now because Lord Jesus Christ doesn't even know today when the trumpet's coming off. He chose not to. And could you imagine the excitement our Lord Jesus Christ has right now at this moment as we worship him? I'll tell you right now, if anybody, our Lord Jesus Christ is like, can I go now? He's so good and perfect. He loves us so much. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And God's love overflowing was, was vindicated by the Spirit. 1 Timothy 3.16 says, amen. Hallelujah. Say with me, glory. Hallelujah. He continues on to say this. He was seen by angels. He was preached among the nations. He was believed on in the world. Amen. And is that not already done did? Can I get an amen? It's already been taken care of. Praise God. I love it when Pastor John preaches uh, the message of the resurrection. Hallelujah. Oh, it just blesses my socks off. I know it blesses you too. And I love it when he talks about what Holy Spirit taught us. Amen. About the angel and how he sat on that rock. Amen. It's just real cute how, how God does that. Hallelujah. And that's just the intimacy of God our Father and blessing us. Amen. And in, Lord Jesus Christ was already seen by angels. He was already preached among the nations. It's already done did. Can I get an amen? Was believed on in the world. Hallelujah. We just covered that. John 3, 16, right? God so loved the world. Amen. That he gave. It's, it's already done did. Amen. Was taken up in glory. And this is the part the Holy Spirit wants to not just touch on, but make sure that as his beloved church, as his body, amen, say with me, I am a beloved child of God, amen, say with me, I am the body of Christ, hallelujah, say with me, I am the temple of Holy Spirit, hallelujah, was taken up in glory, this is the beauty of the, this, this word glory, say this word with me, restoring, amen, restoring, See, the glory of God in one's life, in any beloved child, is that his very presence through his Holy Spirit, and it's only through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, amen, is what God does is that he restores, amen. See, he's already redeemed you, hallelujah. He's already redeemed you, and it's only through, amen, the one who paid it all, Lord Jesus Christ, amen. The one who paid it all, Lord Jesus Christ. He's already redeemed you, amen, and now he's in the process of restoring it's this, another word for restoring, as you may know, is sanctification. He, he, he loves this relationship that he's always wanted from the beginning of time, ever since he created Adam, right? He always wanted that relationship where it was just enough to be with agape, right? You got to remember, I mean, heaven was on earth. Many Many people who are deceived by the enemy. I get this question. Well, if God is so good, why did he put, why did he put the, the tree there? And I said, I'm so glad that you said that. Because what you just asked, trying to trap me and make me stumble or whatever you, you're trying to do, and I say this all the time to people, is that God loves us beyond what we can even understand or comprehend that even though he's God, he still wants it to be a choice that is our choice to make 
that we want him more than the temptation. Can I get an amen? That we want God more than the temptation. And that temptation has a voice. That temptation is called the devil, Satan. And we choose, we chose back then, we choose Satan over God. That's what we did. And ever since that time, God has been trying to restore a relationship with his children. Amen? Our Father God's trying, chasing us down, right? Showing his mercy upon mercy, his goodness and goodness. You read it all throughout the Bible, amen? Say it with me, but God. Oh, hallelujah. His name is Lord Jesus Christ, amen? But God. That glorious moment where Lord Jesus Christ says, I, I spoke all this. And now I will do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I get a hallelujah? Before Lord Jesus Christ come in earth, right, in the earthly form, looked at the Father says, I will do it all. And by the grace of God, he did. Say this word with me, restoring, amen? Restoring, hallelujah. And this is the glory of God, amen? So just to show a, an overview as far as what we have behind me, what you'll see on your screen, praise God, is God's love overflowing. And it's in that overflowing that it's restoring. And you've got to see through Matthew, John, Acts, and 1 Timothy, praise God, and how the word confirms the word and everything just ties in all together, praise the Lord. And by the grace of God, we're going to conclude in 1 Corinthians verse 316, hallelujah. And I love this because whenever the word of God says, don't you know, do you not know, right? Whenever the word of God starts that way, whenever the Holy Bible starts that way, God is asking us, repent, repent. You may say, well, Pastor Joey, I don't got nothing to repent about. I did nothing wrong. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that you did anything wrong. I'm not saying it like that. What I'm saying is what Holy Spirit is trying to get across to all of us, hallelujah, as his holy church is that we need to get out of this and get into the mode of worship and say, Father, this word, this written word, your holy Bible is alive in me. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the word of God. You spoke through me. You spoke me into existence, hallelujah. You said, let there be light. And Holy Spirit, as I worship you, you are my teacher, you are my God manifested in me manifest the written word through your spoken word in lord jesus christ manifest it in my spirit so that as i speak i speak your spoken word through christ my lord amen amen don't you know right don't you know mm. when the word of god speaks this way hallelujah when holy spirit teaches this way and preaches this way however you want to say it these are those moments where Okay, give it to me. And for all of eternity, I'm not going to forget. I know. Amen. I know now. Amen. Say it with me. I know. Hallelujah. I know. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in your midst, in you, in your midst. Hallelujah. He dwells in you. This is his temple now. Amen. Amen. Now, glory to God, we cover this time and time and time again. Glory to God. Why? We are Holy Spirit's church. Amen? Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ charged his holy church. Amen? And this is what God wants to keep on repeating until we're raptured out of here in the next half an hour. Glory to God. And God says, I want to conclude with, with, with this picture because I need my church, my holy church, my children to know that I live in and through them. And that my anointing is not only in them, but I go before them in Jesus' name. And God told me, Joey, I need you to make sure that you communicate this effectively in obedience to Holy Spirit. That you let every child of mine know that if they called upon the name of Lord Jesus Christ, that glorious day when you called upon the name of Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit went in you. And again, amen. And God also wants to say that for those of you, hallelujah, that Holy Spirit will, 
Holy Spirit will be calling many, many, many to be baptized, hallelujah, to be obedient. Don't get religious with God. Amen? Don't get familiar with God. Can I get an amen? Don't rebuke it. Don't do it. Praise God. Worship his holy name. Lift him up. Remember, beloved church family, yesterday's dead and gone. All we have is this moment. But how we hurt Holy Spirit is when we act like, oh, look at all the things that I've done, dude. You didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Can I say that to you? I didn't do nothing. All I have is right now. Anything good and perfect in my life and Joey Karangan and Trish Karangan in my house, it's all Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? It's all his glory. It's all he, he did it all. And guess what? It's all in the past. We, all we have, hallelujah, is right now. Hmm. Glory to God is right now. And God is asking right now in this moment, right now in this moment, will we, oh my goodness, listen, it doesn't matter where you're at. I know that normally we would be here in worship service and glory to God, we'd have songs playing and we'd you know, turn down the lights and just, and just get into, right? Do that at home. Praise God. But God is saying, will you allow me in? Amen. Will you allow his presence to flow through the temple? Praise God. Let's not close any doors to Holy Spirit. How do we close doors to Holy Spirit? Many of you answered that already. Pride. Disobedience. Right? Maybe it's insecurity. Past hurt. Unforgiveness. See, the enemy doesn't want, of course, any, the enemy doesn't want us to worship this way because the enemy's like, no, don't talk about that door. Because the devil is in that door. And God is saying, will you open that door and just allow Holy Spirit to flow, cut off everything, and allow his anointing to flow through you in Jesus' name? Hallelujah. You receive that? Amen? Say this word with me, you. Amen. 1 Corinthians 3.16, the glory of God is, amen, the glory of God, say with me glory, the glory of God is, is that he now dwells in you, in me. And I want to tell you right now, this is the hardest thing for this world to receive. Remember, what did we do to God before Lord Jesus Christ? You stay away. We just want a king to tell us what to do. We want to live the way we want to live. What did we do to Lord Jesus Christ when he come from heaven? Killed him. So the question is, what are we going to do now with Holy Spirit? Who lives on the inside? Who dwells in us? You see how intimate it got? The kingdom of heaven is no longer, oh, one day, one day. It's now. Amen. It's here and it's right now. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> glory to God. So the glory of God is praise Jesus. Hallelujah. He is our Lord, our Savior. There is a no name. And there is no name above that name. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. Say his name with me. Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The name above every name. Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. So glory is God's love. Overflowing. Restoring. You, amen, say with me, restoring me. Praise God. God's love overflowing. God's love that was nailed to the cross, amen, agape, amen, agape, overflowing, hallelujah. How do you overflow in God's love? How do you overflow in a relationship, in a worship, in anointing, amen? I always hear people say, well, I just want to get to the next level. I want to, what are you talking about? Just get intimate with God, amen? Get intimate with God. Rebuke your own thoughts, right? Rebuke judging anybody. Rebuke being critical, right? Just stay grounded in giving thanks to Lord Jesus Christ, to worshiping God, right? And as Holy Spirit speaks to you, as Holy Spirit shows you, make change. Hallelujah. Make change. Amen. Say that with me. Make change. Praise God. As God's love overflowing is restoring you. Say it with me. Restoring me. Amen. It's his presence now. It's only Holy Spirit's presence that can restore us. Praise God. And I thank God for this anointing that Holy Spirit give us to be a blessing unto Lord Jesus Christ first. Remember, love God with all your heart, soul, mind, spirit, strength, everything you got, right? 
Why does God say that? Only Holy Spirit can do it. Hmm. The Word confirms the Word. Only Holy Spirit can do it. Why? Because Holy Spirit is the one that's from Lord Jesus Christ, Father God, and now dwells in you. And when you worship Holy Spirit in you, hallelujah, Holy Spirit is the one that says, my child, we're one. We're one. Amen? And we are going to overflow in abundance, and I'm going to get rid of things that you want to just freely lay down at my feet, and I will bless you with the resurrection power that Lord Jesus Christ promised you. Amen? And I love as far as this graphic, because this graphic just, just covered each one of the the, the, the scriptures that we went through, praise God. Hallelujah. Matthew, John, Acts, right? First Timothy, praise God, and First Corinthians. And it was all in 316. Hallelujah. I pray that this message bless your socks off. Amen. Yeah, we had, we had fun with it. Hallelujah. Everything's from chapter 3, verse 16. Glory to God. Uh, I, I'm just in awe of how Holy Spirit just teaches and anoints us and blesses us. And not only does the word confirm the word, but then when we get into this uh, anointing and worshiping, lifting up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we understand that God's glory, remember now in Greek, doxa, D-O-X-A, God's glory is his view and opinion of you. Amen, beloved child of God. So I'm asking you, I'm asking you, what is your thoughts on how God views you? Thank you, Father. And Holy Spirit, so sweet, so kind, so loving. He is agape, overflowing within us. And this is what Holy Spirit wants to say. As long as you have Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, it's his righteousness that overshadows every foul and garbage thing. And it's the mercy of God the Father that was sent from heaven, nailed to the cross, that his grace through the resurrection power, his name is Holy Spirit, is alive in the inside. And Father God says, as long as your view and opinion of how I think of you is my beloved child. And say it with me, I am a beloved child of God. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You received that today, amen. Let's just give God praise. Hallelujah. I just want to say thank you so much for blessing God the way you do. Miss you so much, church family. Oh, my goodness. I miss you so, so much. Thank God for you all every day. We pray for you guys every day. Hallelujah. I pray that we're still coming together at 8 o'clock in the evening. Amen. Set your alarm clock. Praise God. Open Arms Community Church. Listen. Holy Spirit charged us, and we're going to be obedient. Amen. And I encourage you. I ask you. I beg you. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock p.m. Set your alarm clock. And when that alarm goes off, drop to your knees and stop whatever you're doing and just pray and just cry out to Lord Jesus Christ. And let's just join each other, amen? Listen, we're one in body. We're in the body of Lord Jesus Christ. We're one in Holy Spirit, unified, amen? Amen, and I just, I just encourage you to do that. Hallelujah. Can you get an amen? And please, when you get a chance, um, go to oacchurch.com, oacchurch.com. And over there, you'll see all of our past messages as well on our YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube, please. Um, but on, on oacchurch.com, we have an offering um, page there, too, where you can give whatever is convenient to you. Please, in the name of Jesus, make sure you're blessing God with your offering, with your money. Don't allow, don't allow the enemy to steal. Rebuke that in Jesus' name. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Amen. And praise God. I thank God for your obedience and giving. Listen, we don't, you can ask Pastor John, the elders, all the leaders. We don't touch any of God's glory. All the glory belongs to Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, for he's the only one worthy. Amen. And I know many of you feel this anointing and this power. And the same applies to his money. Amen. You cannot outgive God. Hallelujah. So I encourage you. I encourage you. Bless God with what is his. Hallelujah. And he will bless you in the overflow. I thank you for your heart of generosity and giving. And for those of you who can't give, I pray a blessing this new season is upon us, hallelujah, the, the past is dead and gone, and I'm just so thankful because God sees your heart, and God will bless you in the overflow so that you can be a blessing unto him first, amen, and to overflow with agape, hallelujah. God bless you guys. I love you so much. Trish loves you so much. She misses you guys so much too. 
like I said, we're just uh, excited. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Oh, hallelujah. We're just so excited about what God has in store for us. Amen. And just, um, just so thankful. Praise God. Love you. Remember, God is the only one good. Amen. God is the only one good. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. Let's be a blessing to Lord Jesus Christ. Bless Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And let's bless one another. Amen. God bless you guys. I love you. I'll see you soon. God bless. Mwah.